What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our channel Trendline Forex here with another video analysis. It's 27th of June today and that means we're going to have a look at Euro dollar. All right, that's what we do every Monday. We've also released video analysis on Wednesday and Friday. So make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out and always be up to date with what's going on in the market. Now, this is something that we shared earlier this morning in our free Telegram channel. There's also links for that in the description below this video as well. So make sure to check it out. What I'm talking about here is this setup that we're currently looking at on Euro dollar. I've got a short bias and that means I'm only going to be looking to sell this pair. However, before that, I think we could see price pushing slightly higher and then I'm going to be looking for some type of reversal. So I could possibly take a short trade placing my stop loss above 1.07 above 1.0770 excuse me now this is the last major high and that means a stop loss above this high is totally enough if price is about to continue lower basically what I'm expecting right now last week what I talked about was that you know this is the level where I want to place my stop loss but looking at current price levels or basically looking at this range which has been going on for about a week now if we want to place our stop loss all the way up here you know obviously we could reduce our lot size and basically not over risk on our account but at the same time we're not going to have a good risk to reward ratio right that's quite a long distance so if i enter a short trade now and i place my stop loss up here you know i'm probably going to get one to one or something like this and it's going to take time for this trade to complete and sometimes these are setups that i'd rather skip and wait for price to give me a better entry level and that's exactly what i want to talk about today i think we are actually going to see a better entry level here and I'm pretty much looking at the levels around 1.07 slightly below or above that that's where my sell zone is and that's where I'm going to be looking to take a sell trade placing my stop loss just above 1.0770 so I'm going to move on to the current price action and this is the four hour time frame on euro dollar. So what we see here is that we are in a downtrend and this downtrend has actually started last year. So you can see December, January, February, March, we've been trading to the downside and that's exactly why we're looking to, you know, continue selling in this downtrend and that's how we get a high probability trades right trading with the trend so what we're seeing right now is that you know recently price pushed lower um it reacted just below the 1.04 level we then had a pullback which created this high of 1.0770 the level that we talked about just a second ago since then we had another drop price didn't manage to break below this last low right here um, and we are in a pullback right now and that's where I'm expecting that this pullback will end right around the 1.07 level it's going to create a lower high and it will then eventually continue even lower all right so this is what make what it makes this setup such a high probability setup all right we're going to have a conservative stop loss which like i said is totally enough because if price is about to break above that level right here where we're going to place our stop loss well then that means we're probably going to see a deeper pullback probably towards the levels of around 1.10 maybe even 1.11 however this is something that i'm not really expecting to happen instead of that like I said, I think we will see price continuing slightly higher and right around the 1.07 level is where I'm going to be looking for some type of reversal signals so I could then possibly take a short trade. See, I'm not using any type of pending orders. I want to see price action confirming my idea, basically giving me some type of reversal signal that could be a candlestick pattern formation or it could be any type of pattern formation really that you want to use as your entry signal okay so once that happens we then have you know our target levels right around 1.04 1.03 and maybe even lower okay so this is pretty much what i'm looking at here on euro dollar obviously that reversal could happen before my sell zone so that means i'm not going to be looking for any type of long trades right and i would recommend for those of you who are looking to actively trade euro dollar or if you are a day trader meaning that you're trading on the lower time frames it's probably best not to buy this pair right now right like i said that reversal could happen before my zone and we could then see price continuing lower right away okay so 
this is pretty much what type of information we share in our premium channel as well um you know every morning i send out a video analysis going through all those pairs in my watch list we've got some decent opportunities on dollar canadian on dollar yen as well and by the way for those of you that are you know um looking for trading opportunities today um have a look at euro aussie as well um you could possibly find a pretty decent setup there uh, because there is one that i'm currently looking at Right, so if you want to join our community, make sure to do so. Um, send me a message, uh, leave a comment below this video um, and let me know what kind of videos you want to see in this channel next. Um, I'll be happy to share my knowledge with you and try to be as helpful as possible. So that's pretty much all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to watch our last two videos where you can find more valuable information. Check out our channel for more trading related videos. I wish you all a successful trading and I'll see you next time.